Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some brand new peripherals to show you from Corsair. You've got a new mouse and a keyboard and both of them are special and have some unique characteristics and today in this video we're gonna unbox and check them out. So this is Corsair's all new Qatar Pro and it's a super lightweight gaming mouse. Thing is your regular mouse is usually a bit heavy and when you do long sessions of gaming your arm starts to pain as you swing back and forth because of the weight and that is why the brand made this super lightweight model. It comes in this sort of black and yellow theme packaging and at the back side we've got some of its main features mentioned. It's got an ultra lightweight design, has a symmetrical shape, offers a Pixart sensor with up to 12,400 dpi and has 6 programmable buttons on board. So those were some of its main highlights and I can't wait to unbox and show you. First we'll check out the mouse and then later we'll come back for the keyboard. There you go. I believe there's also a wireless edition available in the Qatar Pro but we right now have the budget edition, the wired gaming mouse. So in the box you get some paperwork, just make sure to read that. And here's the mouse we've been waiting for. Comes nicely packed and there you go guys, our first look at Corsair's new Qatar Pro. Oh my god. Corsair was not joking guys, this is seriously super lightweight in the hand, weighs only around 69 grams. Giving you a closer look, you've got the Corsair logo here and the overall build quality looks pretty good. The body is made of polycarbonate and has a matte black finishing. And also if you can observe, it's got a symmetrical shape with a nice grip. The regular left and right click buttons, RGB scroll wheel that's also clickable, a DPI switch button to change DPI levels on the go and on the left you've got two more buttons, forward and back. And good part is all the buttons on it are fully customizable using Corsair software. And here's how the bottom of the mouse looks like. You've got some info regarding the mouse, has large rubber skid pads and comes with a custom Pixar sensor that supports up to 12,400 dpi. And going to the top side you've got the non-detachable cable with a standard cable length of around 1.8 meters. I would have preferred a nylon braided cable but again it's a budget model right so you can't expect much. Well, that was our complete overview on the mouse, now let's check out the keyboard. So here is Corsair's all new K60 RGB Pro. It's a mechanical RGB gaming keyboard and comes in this sort of box packaging. There's a picture of the product on the front, Corsair branding everywhere but the special thing about this particular model is it comes with a new variant of cherry mechanical key switches called as Viola, which I'll tell you about in this video. As you can see the keyboard is compatible with your PC, Mac and even Xbox One and talking about its highlights, it supports dynamic perky RGB lighting and is powered by Corsair's IQ software. That is pretty much it, there is nothing else written on it, so let's directly get started with the unboxing. By the way, have you guys noticed the yellow tint on Corsair's box packaging is slightly different compared to their last gen products. I guess Corsair slightly changed their look. Anyways, as soon as you open the box, we've got some paperwork at the top. Make sure to read this user manual and here's the keyboard we've been waiting for, the all new K60 RGB Pro. Oh boy, looks sleek and beautiful. Hey, it's also quite lightweight in the hand, it weighs only around 860 grams. You've got the Corsair logo at the top right, some status LED indicators just beside that and if you can see, the entire top frame is made of black anodized aluminum with a brushed metal like finish. And here are the new Cherry Viola key switches. Oh, have a look at the side view also. It's got slim profile keycaps and yes, as usual, the keycaps on it are also replaceable. Now going to the other side, well, a clean look. Some product info at the center and angle adjustment clips are there and some rubber foot pads on all the corners. Very nice built quality. So that was our complete overview on the design. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly connect both the keyboard and the mouse to my PC and then be right back to continue the video. All right, guys, first let's talk about the mouse. Qatar Pro is a super lightweight wired gaming mouse with a compact symmetrical shape that feels quite comfortable in the hand. Not to miss out the textured pattern on the sides that offer you extra grip while holding. And let me tell you, the mouse just glides on the surface as it's only 69 grams. Seriously, I was not expecting that. Weight can definitely make a big difference for pro gamers. And it's suitable for both claw and fingertip grip style players. There are a total of six buttons on it. Left and right, scroll button, DPI change and forward and back buttons to the left. And all of them are fully programmable using the software. Quality of the buttons is nice, feel tactile and clicky. And if you ask about the RGB lighting, there's not much of lighting here, just the scroll wheel glows in RGB. And everything else is pretty much minimalistic. Now talking about the performance, 
The mouse comes with a custom PixArt optical sensor that supports from 200 to all the way up to 12,400 dpi. And you can even change the dpi in three levels set by you on the go using the dpi change button. And if you ask about the overall performance, well, I've been using it for quite some time and was quite impressed with the results. The sensor was accurately tracking my movements while playing games. And the best part is, since it's super lightweight, it was very easy to play with this mouse without getting tired. Though one thing I have to mention is, by default, enhanced pointer precision was enabled in the mouse settings and I'd highly advise you to disable it while gaming as it can increase your accuracy. On the overall, I was happy with the results for the price point. Now coming to the keyboard, the K60 RGB Pro is a wired gaming keyboard that features 100% Cherry Viola mechanical key switches. See these new switches were specifically designed for the budget market, you know for the keyboards priced under $100. And let me tell you they feel completely different than the regular Cherry MX. They have a linear travel characteristic with a fast and precise input that is suitable for both gaming and casual needs also. If you would ask my opinion, the keys feel less tactile and clicky than the regular mechanical switches and the noise is also very low, it's basically a quiet keyboard guys. So if you prefer it this way, then it can be a great addition for you. But to be honest, I prefer my keys on my keyboard to be tactile and clicky. Again, this is my personal opinion and might be different for you. Just check out these clips, you'll get an idea on Cherry Wireless sound and feel. Okay, coming back, let's talk about the RGB lighting. The K60 RGB Pro has dynamic per key RGB lighting and since it's got low profile keycaps, it completely exposes the entire key switches even with the keycaps present on it. And let me tell you, the lighting on the keyboard looks absolutely beautiful. The LEDs on it are bright and vibrant and offer a lot of customizations also using Corsair's IQ software. There are predefined lighting effects or you can even sync it with your setup or even do your own thing. The choice is up to you. Coming to the gaming performance, the keyboard does a good job, feels comfortable, key switches also precisely take your input, but it'll take some time getting used to it because Cherry Wireless feel is completely different than the regular thing. Mostly feels like a hybrid between membrane and mechanical. But on the overall, I had great fun gaming on this keyboard. The only thing I felt lacking was a wrist rest support and also a USB pass through would have been appreciated. The K60 RGB Pro costs around 7,600 rupees and the Qatar Pro mouse costs around 1,600 rupees. So what do you guys think about them? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.